Well, we are still in New York in our Create apartment. And as we promised, we share more of the experience that we do and that we make. And one of the big questions for filmmakers is, is there the perfect camera bag that helps you to carry all the equipment you need? Oh, ich brauche eine neue Kamera. I need a new, oh, I need a new camera bag. Oh my goodness. We need, we need new camera bags. Yeah, you definitely need one. I need one too. Ich weiß, welchen möchte. Which one? Peak Design. Yeah. Yeah, guy. Oh, MP guy. And we got it here. So. Okay, that's not the bag. We need to unpack it, but I wanted to show you this very nice design here. It's a Peak Design backpack. And um, it's actually the Peak Design 30 liter. We bought it from K&M. Actually, I would say the best camera store on the planet. And um, we had a very nice guy who helped us with the bag. Shall I look like the most interesting man in the world? You know, when you come here, you actually do it the other way around. You sell these guys what you actually <laughs> yeah, use. Yeah, I'm about so. to get off on the lunch break and, you know, check out the GH5. Kristoff <laughs> uh, just uh, put me on game with the 7 to 14, so it blew my mind. I just love the, the whole depth of field to it, so. And these guys are these guys are great. Their work looks great. So. And I was looking for a long time for the perfect bag, and then I found it. Okay, MP found it. So we have now two. He bought one, and then I saw it, and I thought, okay, I need one too because there is no perfect camera bag. I thought, but there is. So let's unpack this dude. Maybe not like this. Let's be careful a bit. <laughs> Don't do this at home. That's strong. Or the knife is not that sharp. So um, it actually has an icon to open it. So even if it's not open, it does work. Ah. Okay, I maybe should have watched an unboxing video from a Peak Design backpack before I unpack that one. So you don't need a knife. You can open it actually very, very smooth. So why did I like this thing when I saw it, when MP bought it? Okay, there are many reasons because the backpack I had before, I thought it was perfect. I maybe show you a picture here. And the problem was it was quite thick, so quite wide when you had it on your back. So whenever you then start to put your drone in, heavy lenses in, the camera in, it really pulls. And if you walk with it every day, the whole weight goes in the back. And even if you're strong in your back, it can hurt your back a lot. This thing here is quite flat. So, so the weight is quite well distributed on your, on your back. Well, it's not for hours if you carry your red, but still it fits. To me, like weight and design was the most important thing. And then MP obviously found all these neat features. So I didn't came up with them. He actually told me what all the features are. Maybe I missed some of these, but some cool things. You have this anti-theft thing. Let's take this guy here away. That means for many people, that's a thing when they walk around with all the gear, you don't want to have your backpack open on the side. So you can close it here and it's not, easy to then like pull it open of course if you pull heavily but then you actually recognize if someone opens that so that's pretty cool well thought through then of course you have stuff like for your tripod that you can attach here so like you can attach it here and then put the tripod in or the monopod with red for example you can also like open all the way these bags on the side i can imagine you also have stuff that you like for example if you run and gun and you just sometimes put stuff in here knife away and you just put it down to the side then you actually can reach stuff here that you have then on the other side you have what I really like the keychain because it's tight to the side it's strong and you really have to like detach it and then put it back in and that's pretty cool because stuff like the key, for example, to carry it around when you're like filming and like, I really love to have this stuff put away. So that's pretty cool. Let's also take this off. The anchor keychain. Okay. Again, for a tripod on that side, then on the bottom, you have more strings that you can attach to the bottom and you like put your jacket underneath or anything you want to have there. I usually don't use it, but I know MP uses it uses it a lot. 
It's very helpful. Now, what I like the best is, of course, you want to store all your gear. And the system you have in here looks very simple, very clean and very durable. And that's the most important thing because these guys here, you can easily detach them, replace them somewhere else in the backpack. And then look at this, you can flip these guys up or maybe both up, put something here or like put something here and store something here and it closes all the way through. And with the other backpacks I had, it was always not as durable. It doesn't like felt really strong and that's exactly what happened then after a while. So the divider were actually not as strong. So when I put them in, out, in, out, after a while, something ripped off and then you couldn't use the divider properly anymore. And I hate it if you run and gun and want to shoot something very fast to like then search for the stuff. So you want to have it in the place and you continuously change the stuff because sometimes I use my vacation equipment and then can easily store that. And sometimes I go and do some podcasting and can easily fit that in here as well. And as I said earlier, um, we even fit the red in here. I maybe show you the image from yesterday because we currently film with the red. How heavy is it? I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried it. Just fix it. Okay. So. Red, the screen on top. Mm -hmm. um, the screen is up here, so it's soft. And uh, we have two, four, five batteries down here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and here's audio is here, SSD is here. Which you could leave on the red. Sure, it's true. And then you have space for. Sidewinder, great. Tight, but it fits. Nice. And here's some space for maybe another lens. Mm -hmm. Or another battery. You can put it up here, flip it down. You even have space up there left. Yep. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. How heavy is it? I tried. Quite heavy. Feels good. Uh -huh. It's good. Better than the other one? I think so, yeah. But I guess you can imagine how easy it is to like change the settings in this backpack. Look at this. Now the podcast device is on this side, I can easily reach it and I can still fit stuff on this side. That's pretty neat actually. Both bags on top. And if you ask yourself, why do I have these bags? This is small stuff. So what I like, you have a lot of space in here, which gives you flexibility. So we use these 10 bar dividers, which we also found with K&M. And I will buy two more because it's very helpful since I sometimes just use my carry-on luggage to all, like use all the camera gear and store all the camera gear and not take the backpack with me. I don't travel with a backpack all the time. And then I just store this in my carry-on luggage. So these guys, actually have the, um, you can see through, so you know what's in there. I like that. Then the sides are durable. So if you put something on top, it doesn't squeeze together. And this is the podcast device. And we actually use the dividers. MP found a way to like put them like this and then put our podcast mics in here. And then even the recorder fits in here with some extra batteries. So we're all set. This was what we used before. And as you see, this squeezes. So there's stuff in it and it squeezes together and these guys don't. So that's why we love these dividers, these 10 bar bags to put in here. Small stuff from the GH5. So the wide angle lens, where's actually the 25 mm lens that goes in here. So that would be my vacation setup. 25 mm wide angle, some extra audio, H1, the Sennheiser, so this would be good to go together with a GH5 to go on vacation. And then you're good to go. And then I even don't need the backpack to pack it. Unless I would say I take the drone and all the stuff. Let's continue. We have bags on the side. High quality. This is also really high quality. You have cable straps here or like small storage for SD cards all labeled. You can put your phone 
and if you put it away here, nothing will go against the lens or anything. You even could put ND filters or stuff in here. And as I said, you can open it from both sides, take everything out, change it, make it bigger, make it smaller, however you want to design it. And that's what we really love about this bag. One of the most important things if we're like here in New York City, for example, is our editing setup. The desk doesn't look that representable right now, but maybe you show it for authentic reasons because that's behind the scenes. And we have our 15 inch editing machines here. So we would love to edit on a Mac, but we work with Premiere Pro and we work with Red Files. So editing on a Dell, this is a Dell XPS 15 inch, the highest setting you can get. And I actually didn't test if it fits in here. So we see it now. There is a laptop compartment up here, which is divided in two compartments, one big one, one smaller one, and then even stuff for your passport or anything like that. It fits. Ha! It fits really well. So, good to go even with your editing device. And that's then a whole studio editing run and gun setup with this backpack. So I definitely would say this peak design, and that's not a sponsored video, that's just for fun reasons since we just bought them yesterday, is the perfect backpack for videographers. So one thing before we end this video, pricing. Let's talk about prices. So this is 289, I think, and that's a 30 liter. And I first thought I want to buy the 20 liter, which is a bit smaller, a bit more compact. And then I thought, mm, it's nicer, but you actually easily, if you carry a backpack, fill it with stuff. If you have a really small setup, as we showed in the other video, when we just run and gun with the GH5, for example, you don't need that. But you easily fill the 30 liters and the price difference is just like 30 or 40 bucks. I think the 20 liter is 259 and the 30 liter is 289. So we definitely both then thought that's worth the investment. I don't know why they do the pricing like this, but there will be a reason. Okay, this being said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment and discuss and share your experience with the best backpack and subscribe here. And there is another video here for you to watch. Thanks for watching and we see you guys next week.